Well, let's see what the Black Sway has in store. The fucking room. I do want that. Wow! Just wow! Right in my face! <laughs> Ow, that's painful. <laughs> and yeah, I'll note that, like, you know, we have, like, hellish star agents here, so... I'm not basically in, like, these, like, other places besides, like, the labs. All these guys are gonna be, like, you know, fallen guys, so... There's that going for me. You know, my shotgun, I really miss my shotgun. Because this is where the shotgun was shine. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's just fight these guys. Okay, almost dead. Being the offer for it here, almost dead. We'll adrenaline up here a little bit. That's better. Use the AI. That's how you win. Now this is gonna be a hell of a fight. If it isn't Delian and Hunter, well, why not? All right. Well, I didn't die immediately, so hooray for that. By the way, I got access to field mech now, so increase healing from small mech um, from small mech kits and stim packs and improves their use speed. So mech kit efficiency goes up. Um, this is useful, but you know, whatever. Field mech would be nice, by the way, as a thing, but you know, it's not like they're like the only like medical device you basically can use. So we're gonna get survivor, I guess, for now, because basically, like out of combat, we're gonna generate more. We're in combo able to reach right now. Ooh, I'll shotgun. And yes, I forgot to reload yet again. Alright, assault armor. So it's got blood rush and loading feed. The durability of my current arm is obviously almost gone, but you know, not yet gone, so. Sounds like there's bots over there somewhere. Let's get that before I forget about it. You know, find out red cards aren't that useful, useful unless like, you have a purpose for them. Uh, that looks dangerous to go down. Let's just avoid it. May want to switch over to my base of stuff here. You know, I should use my EMP grenades a lot more. So here's a power mod pack I'm using something. I 
I want to keep this around for long term, you know, uses, I guess, so. Let's get Ripper. Oh, there goes the door. When moving forward is your best solution. Yes. Under siege with that, that guy type of guy. Environment pack. So basically this requires like, you know, your immunity to burning, cold, acid, and poison. I'm not sure how useful that might be going forward here, but you know, whatever. Alright, so... We got a couple of military bots to deal with, three turrets. At least I got use for EMP grenades. Recon! So, we got the vaults at the um, end here. And messages. Body count. Isn't there something that can be done? The body count will be high as long as the gas continues to adapt to new masks. We have no choice other than sending in fresh meat from Glisto there to keep up the flow. So, same thing as before. XK-56 gas. We did try everything. The gas seems to have some viral component that adapts to the changes of, its own, of our hardware. Without a biological counter, I doubt any strictly mechanical solution is possible. Excavation. The soldiers you send keep on having accidents, blah blah, so... You know, I was hoping for a lot more, like, you know, text from, like, the fluff messages, but, you know... There's a whole lot there, I guess. Okay, so... There's the military bot. You're disabled. You're dead. Oh, there's my headgear. Oh, I almost died. So there's my regeneration happening, by the way, so... We apparently regenerate up to 33 HP. You know, I'm gonna say right now, my EMP grenades are probably kind of worthless because, like, you know, my plasma, like, you know, can just rip through these guys pretty fast, so. There is that, but whatever. Okay, reload already. There we go. We clear everything in here. Now here's a question, by the way. Do we have a damage gate now still 25 HP, or... Um, basically, like, you know... This is where I want to look about Survivor, by the way. Does it mean, like, you know, I will have, like, you know, that 25 HP, like, all the time? And I can, like, drink above, like, you know, like, my HP? So I might be able to always survive, like, you know... Basically, being killed even at 3 free HP is a thing, right? So, as long as they don't, t don't take too many hits. That could be, like, the idea of, like, this weapon here. Some ammo here. Oh, we kill off these guys. All shotgun. No room. And of course we have grenades. Yeah, I'm not following this game. It seems like the like EMP grenades are not that useful compared to say like, you know, well, the eventual plastic grenades are useful, but you know. It's like, you know, you obviously have like, you know, your um your smoke grenades and stuff like that to like sort of like, you know deal with like stuff that like, you know, 
has a lot of sight on you, you will obviously disrupt it. Oh, Medusa, why not? Now, no nope, is right there. I know where he is because I have him on the map, of course, so... We'll throw that at him. There was Medusa. That's a good way of basically using up that, like, you know, frag grenade. There's black side two. <sighs> Another one, why not? You know what Slurring basically does for us, guys? It makes it so like he's more resilient to damage. And by the way, I'm playing a game where like you know I run away from this guy because like you know. I've got my health now. <clears throat> so I'll never like die if you know if I'm like you know. Got him. This is like you know, doing that to him constantly. I'll never die to these enemies unless I like you know take too much damage. So if I just like run away, then like you know, they can't hit me, so to speak. What do we have here? You know, let's realize something. I have no durability in my armor now. And, um, this armor still talks to me. So this armor really is permanent, I guess. You can't, like, you know... Yeah, this armor suit doesn't come off. It gets damaged, it stays damaged is the thing, right? So watch out for that. Alright, well... I have the room for him, so why not? I'll take the, you know, EMP grenades. You know, I might try like, you know, spore a grenade launcher for like, you know, the next like run I'll be doing after this. I don't expect this guy's gonna make it to the end, but you know, I'll keep playing playing until like either die or not. Yeah, chain gun. Now let's just actually go collect all the ammo then, since, like, you know, I reloaded actually this time. I know how to do things that, like, you know, I should be doing, like, constantly. I'm so glad there's no hunger clock in this game, by the way, for obvious reasons. There's something special here. The vault. There we go, we're back to like, you know, a little health, but whatever. Hell, let's do this. That was fun to do. Arch Medusa, because why not? Ow, it burns.
We're just gonna keep going at this point. Why not? I didn't immediately die, so does that. So it sounds like there's at least a couple of those, like, you know, where in there, like, you know, pump around. Enemies types, so whatever. There's that. Someone opened a door somewhere. Here we go, Reaver's hard again, so Reaver's metabolism. We're doing up to 25% of your HP, but healing is only 50% effective, so... I technically already have this, so I don't really care about it. So whatever. Dual shotgun. Get some health. If I find like ability to like you know uh, somebody to dismantle my weapons, I'm going to do so. I think at some point, but you know, until we do. Okay, I'm gonna unlock the vault if I want to. Uh, there's a rocket turret somewhere, I don't really care about that, we can kill it easily enough, I think, so... Well, let's disable it. Now here's the question, why am I able to hack stuff like, you know, like, like that for free? Did I go and, like, pick up hacking? I wasn't, um, where I did in this character. Hmm. So, recon. Messages. So, email usage, blah, blah, blah. Oh, why not? We have uh, our shivers. That was lucky. We're ready for long range. Our Ravagers! These guys, of course, have their rockets on them, so that'll be annoying. <coughs> Ouch! <coughs> Ouch! Okay, I'm not dead yet. I assume they're like, you know, my favorite favorite saying for this map, I guess. I'm not dead yet. You know, there's one good thing about the cyber suit, by the way, you know, that even though I can't take it off. Ow. Even though I can't take it off, I can still, like, you know, keep it. So I have, like, all the mods basically on it still. for regeneration. Two rocket launchers there. Well, I did find a rocket launchers eventually. I think I hit it. Well, I killed some things there. Yeah, I didn't take WizKid, so I'm wondering, like, why we basically have access to the, um, you know, or, like, not WizKid, but, you know, hacking or anything like that to, like, you know, do our hacking stuff, basically, but whatever.
So, what does this basically do on her? Oh, okay, so basically, like, with WizKid, I can stick, like, more of the same, like, you know, st stuff basically on the same thing here. So, this is basically what you want for Cyber Arm, basically, because then you can, like, you know, stick whatever you want to on there, like, your, like, you know, w um, weapons and stuff like that, and your armor. So, I apparently want to get armor army surplus here. I wouldn't mind getting more health and bleed resistance though. Everything died in here, I guess. That's lucky. Oh, I like having more health as like the thing with like you know my like you know my traits. So there's some more this stuff. There's the Arch Medusa. I was wondering where it went. Out here, apparently. I know you're there. I gotta save that now for like, you know, this guy. He's charging. Oh, I can see him on the map there, cause like, you know, there's a little white dot for him. He's down. I guess we want to save that, so we're just going to go this way, activate the vault. Go ahead. Make my day. Well, I made a mistake. These guys came to me. And to regenerate. Um, first time using this, but there we go. So these guys will hunt you down, but you know, I guess you can lose them if, you're, if you're like, you know, you use a thing there. Toxic Reaver is spleen, so if I curse, um, my relic, the spleen of the Toxic Reaver. Each kill creates a toxic cloud. Your poison status effects are 50% stronger. Immediate from poison status effects, but 30% healing received. You know, let's just get this and test it out, I guess. I'm not really healing anymore at this point, so. Oh, why not? Every uh, free, like, you know, thing here. Well, let's just see what this does. So, it's got sustain, return bullets to magazine on kill. That's pretty good. It's got frenzy, bonus damage after kill. So, basically, the more I kill this thing, the better ammo I basically save and more frenzy basically do. So, this is good for, like, you know, initially, like, you know, hurting, like, you know, high tier enemies and then, like, you know, um, I guess like doing more damage if like, you know, the wound them. This is good if you want to basically, like, you know, save your ammo. Not bad, but whatever. I am getting better weapons, but you know, they're not the weapons I really need. There we go, he sees me. Hey, even though my, my cyber suit is damaged, it's still almost up. Oh! Auto repairing, but slows down the user and can't be taken off. So, it starts to auto repair apparently after, like, you know. I guess it's, like, you know, damaged enough. Yippee 
Kaye, motherfuckers. That's what I want to see. Health. All right. Well, we're gonna use this to like get more max health, I guess. So there we go. Increase health. This is a character where increased health really like benefits you a lot because like you know, the more health I have, the longer I basically can like you know stand out to like you know be heal, I guess, and stuff like that. Is there anything I you know want to pick up at this point? I wonder. Probably not. Yeah, I might pick up this rocket launch at this point, but you know. Oh well. What's up here? That's the gateway. Alright, so. Well, let's go see what's in the vaults. A little bit of HP pickup, so that's nice. There's gateway. Of course, he's right there. Hello. You're not in a good place for me. I like how the heartbeat uh, you know, noise is going to be like permanent at this point, but whatever. Stick to like you know the assault rifle at this point. We're in the like you know the cross of Iowa, I guess at this point. Fire, fiery Iowa. What the heck was that? We're done. It's probably not a good idea to be going out here because, like, you know, I have no cover really. You know, an EMP would probably be a good idea right now. Why is everything toxic? Toxic, rather. Oh, look at that! My red key card actually serves a purpose now. Gotta arm up. So, pistol amp. Don't care about that. Um, comet helmet. We don't have a comet helmet at the moment, so we'll put that on. There's a mark free thing here of something. Alright, so, at this point I'm sort of wondering, like, you know, what ways I want to manufacture and, like, you know, do. I still have, like, all three of these weapons with, like, all their stuff basically on them, so it might make sense to, like, you know, um, unmanufacture something, I guess. Ooh, we can reroll advanced perks here, apparently, as well, if we get the multi-tools for it. That's good now. But I have, like, the dismantle perk here, right, so... We're just gonna dismantle this guy. So I'm gonna put like the bulk mod on like you know this thing here. You know, I'm trying to put the spot fires on this so I can switch over to it real fast to kill stuff. Let's get speed loader. We'll check that out in a moment, but you know. 
accuracy will go on. Oh, that's something I note by the way as well. This weapon only has like access to two like mods because it's basically like, you know, um, only capable of like, putting on two mods. So I've got extra accuracy now to do stuff with, I guess. So, anyways, this would be nice, I guess. Ooh, so long range tracking is where you can basically increase the max range of weapons. That might be useful for like you know, shooting out the side of line of sight, maybe. So yeah, I can like make this stuff here. I could make a plate plasma rifle, plasma shotgun, real rifle, katana. If I find my tool, tool, I might actually make a katana just to like, you know, to have like a well round like, you know, melee weapon. And I'm basically stuck with only two weapons, but it's fine because it means I can pick up a third weapon now. Needs a fucking key card. Well, if I find a key card, I know it's in the vaults now, basically, for it. I bet, by the way, like, you know, there's probably some key cards here, but, you know, you're probably expected to bring some to get a deal to loot. You guys realize something, by the way. The toxic clouds I'm actually putting down are actually, like, you know... They're actually printing for my weapons, not from, like, you know, these guys, like, you know... I'm basically putting out the toxic clouds whenever I kill stuff with, like, my, like, you know, weapons now is the thing, right? Okay, I got the relic for it. So basically, like, I'm poisoning things, basically. Needs a fucking key card. Bring him on. Hello. Need to reload. What's my force melee option again? This would be good to know if I actually have a force melee option, right? So. So, shift. Need to reload. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna help. I don't think you can make some leaf from, like, you know, dials like this, um, even though, like, I, like, you know, want to. Ah, okay, so basically you shift and press fire. That's how you basically do it. Alright, so. I learned something. So if you basically hold shift and like you press the fire key, you'll actually like release stuff with like your blood your rifle. I actually realize I'm immune to poison effects, so I could have just ran through that easily, but whatever. There's something on the island in the middle here. So I'm wondering what it basically is. We'll get to the moment where it's going to go this way first. Uh, let's throw in our EMP grenade. I'm not going to use for you basically outside, like, you know, the last level, so.
to save my ammo. Oh, right, these guys um, can't hurt me anymore, really. Well, they can't hurt me, but... Not as much as they once were able to. Hello. Alright, well, we got through all this stuff easily enough. So let's go to the middle vault here. So yeah, just like a level is probably like, you know, you want to come with like lots of red key cards to get like all the loot. Locked. Doors locked. Now it makes me think that there's probably like, you know, a hollow system that like unlocks that by the way, somewhere. Somewhere being the opera word. I don't know where. Ooh! A long rifle! So what does this do? Military sniper rifle good for long range combat. Extremely ammo efficient, 360 no scope. So each kill permanently increases critical chance by 1%. Vampiric 2 heal bit on organic kill and scope. Um, aiming adds aim cha bonus cha um, critical chance, so... It's 20 pierce, it's got semi automatic Not a bad weapon. Oh, new toys. Now here's a question to ask myself. What ammo is this running off of? Is it uh, 7.62? Because if so, it's a, you know, at least it's going to feed him into like my other, like weapon here a little bit. See, I assume, like, by the way, like, one of these vaults is probably, like, the Hello system. And, like, you know, that's how you basically unlock, like, the, like, other vault base over there. Kind of like the, like, you know, um, where basically, in, like, you know, Callisto, there's, like, you know, you can, like, get, um, access to it unless you, um, open, like, the Hello system. So, like, you know, get access to the vault type of thing. I assume that's probably the case here as well. I need a key card for that. Alright, well, next time I come up with lots of keycards, the vault is where I want to go, I guess.